ಓಂ ಜ್ಞಾನಧಿಮಂದ್ಞಾನಂಜನ ಶಲಾಖಾಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರುನ್ಮುಧೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮ ಓಹೇ ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಠಕೂರ್ ದೋಯಾರ ಸಾಗರ ಏ ದಾಸೆ ಕರುಣ ಕೋರಿ ಓ ಹೇ ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಠಾಕೂರ ದೋಯರ ಸಾಗರ ಇದಾಸೆ ಕೂ ನೋರಿ ಓ ಹೇ ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಠಾಕೂರ ದೋಯರ ಸಾಗರ ಇದಾಸೆ ಕೂ ನೋರಿ ಪಾದ ಚಾಯ ಶೋರೋಹೆ ಆಮಾಯ ತುಮರ ಚರಣ ಧೋರಿ ದಿಯ ಪಾದ ಚಾಯ ಶೋರೋಹೆ ಅಮಾಯ ತುಮರ ಚರಣ ಧೋರಿ ಚಯ ಬೇಗ ಧೋಮಿ ಚಯ ದೂಷ ಶೋರಿ ಚಯ ಗುಣ ದೇಹೋ ದಾಸೆ ಚಯ ಬೇಗ ಧೋಮಿ ಚಯ ದೂಷ ಶೋರಿ ಚಯ ಗುಣ ದೇಹೋ ದಾಸೆ ಕ್ಷಯ ಸತ್ಸಂಗ ದೇಹೋ ಹೇ ಅಮಾರೆ ಬೋಸಿಷಿ ಸಂಗೇರ ಆಶೆ ಕ್ಷಯ ಸತ್ಸಂಗ ದೇಹೋ ಹೇ ಅಮಾರೆ ಬೋಸಿಷಿ ಸಂಗೇರ ಆಶೆ ಏಕಾಕಿ ಅಮ್ಮ ನಹಿ ಪಾಯ ಬಾಲೋ ಹರಿ ನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಏಕಾಕಿ ಅಮಾರ ನಹಿ ಪಾಯ ಬಾಲೋ ಹರಿ ನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ತುಮಿ ಕೃಪಾ ಕೋರಿ ಸದಾ ಬಿಂದು ದಿಯ ದೇಹೋ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ನಾಮ ಧನೆ ತುಮಿ ಕೃಪಾ ಕೋಯಿ ಷಧ ಬಿಂದು ದಿಯ ದೇಹೋ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ನಾಮ ಧಾನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇ ತೋಮಾರ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಿತೆ ಪಾರೋ ತೋಮಾರ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಆಚೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇ ತೋಮಾರ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಿತೆ ಪಾರೋ ತೋಮಾರ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಆಚೆ ಅಮಿತೋ ಕಂಗ 
Krishna Krishna Boli Dayatava Pache Pache Amito Ganga Krishna Krishna Boli Dayatava Pache Pache Ohe Vaishnava Thakku Doyara Sagara Idase Karuna Kori Ohe Ohe Vaishnava Thakku Doyara Sagara Idase Karuna Kori Jaya Vaishnav Thakur, Jaya Vaishnav Thakur, Vaishnav Thakur, Jaya Vaishnav Thakur. Jaya Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Jaya Prabhu Pada. Jai Jai Prabhu Pad, Prabhu Pad, Prabhu Pad, Jai Jai Prabhu Pad. Translation. O venerable Vaishnav Thakur, O ocean of mercy. Be merciful to this servant of yours and purify me with the shade of your lotus feet. Your lotus feet I humbly hold. By helping me control the six urges and purifying me of the six faults, bestow upon your servant the six good qualities. O Master, please give me the six kinds of holy association. I have sat down here hoping to have your company. The six urges are those of speech, the mind, anger, the tongue, the belly, and the genitals. The six faults are overeating or collecting more materially valuable things than required, over-endeavoring for material objectives, unnecessarily t talking of mundane affairs, being too much attached to scriptural rules and regulations or too neglectful of them, associating with worldly-minded persons and desiring mundane achievements. The six good qualities are enthusiasm, confidence, patience, performing the regulated activities of devotional service, giving up the association of non-devotees, and following in the footsteps of previous acharyas. The six activities of holy association are offering gifts in charity, accepting charitable gifts, revealing one's mind in confidence, inquiring confidentially, accepting prasadam from others, and offering prasadam to others. Alone, I do not find the strength to chant the holy name of Hari. Please be merciful and blessing me with a drop of faith. Bestow upon me the great treasure of the holy name of Krishna. Krishna is yours and you can give him to me for such is your power. This wretch is simply running behind you crying out, Krishna, Krishna. And now we'll just have some reflections on the song. Kurunath Prabhu. The, um, the line, Krishna is yours, I don't think this is working. Uh, Yellow mic. No, Hare Krishna. Yeah, the line, Krishna is yours, you can give him to me. It reminded me of a pastime that Srila Prabhupada one time was with uh, Malati and her little daughter. And uh, the Prabhupada was playing a game. They had a little statue of Krishna, and Prabhupada was hiding it. And and Saraswati was uh, saying, "Where's Krishna?" You know, or they were asking her, "Where's Krishna?" And then she said, "Prabhupada has Krishna," and because uh, he was 
he was playing this hide and seek game with the child. But this is um, the truth that uh, it be, because of Prabhupada holds Krishna in his heart uh, by his pure devotion, then he's giving, he's able to give Krishna and make Krishna appear in this Hare Krishna movement um, and give us access to Krishna who would other, otherwise have no access at all. Can we have the other mics too, please? Green means on. One for everybody, please. <laughs> the, uh, go ahead. I think in the third line, alone I have not decided I don't have the strength to chant the holy name and by Sri Prabhupada's mercy I have so much help in the form of my god brothers, god sisters and <clears throat> grand grandchildren also. Um, when I, I the reason one of the reasons I like this uh song is because when I read it I feel great relief because when I th I think of trying to uh, approach God or approach the spiritual world it just seems impossible like I, I can't do it myself but it's good to know that we need to depend on our spiritual master and ultimately Krishna uh, and uh, there's this concept in uh, Spiritual concept in in Japanese, they 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 conceive of two paths, and uh, one is called jiriki. Uh, riki means like your power. There's a there's a character for power. And then G means self. So there's the path of self endeavor, and then there the other path is called ta riki, or other power. And so uh, the path of Krishna consciousness is really depending upon the, the supreme power that comes down through Krishna to the spiritual master and the Vaishnavas. Hare Krishna. Uh, yeah, I, I also was thinking of the descending potency that comes down through a personality who is you know, fully surrendered and not just fully surrendered but empowered especially empowered by Krishna because um, yeah, so many devotees I've talked to have had the same experience when they first saw Srila Prabhupada they saw an effulgence coming from him and many you know persons I was one of them as soon as I saw him, I just fell on my face spontaneously. I didn't know what I was doing. I never had any uh, association with the temple or with devotees or anything. But when I saw Prabhupada by coincidence on that first program in uh, the Hall of Flowers in, in, in uh, Golden Gate Park, and there weren't that many devotees there because you know Srila Prabhupada wasn't ex expected, I guess, for very long. His, flight had been rerouted to San Francisco or something like that. And uh, uh, so there weren't that very many people, their guests. And uh, but when Prabhupada walked out onto the stage, it was like, for me, at least in my vision, you know, the whole room light lit up. It was something completely extraordinary. I'd never had any experience like that before. And I just instinctively just fell down and tears came pouring out of my eyes and I was not for sure qualified in any way, shape or form to experience that kind of feeling. And even when, when I got the two books, the first two books I got from Prabhupada were given to me by others as gifts and I was living up in a very, very secluded place in the mountains, a hundred people in the town and yet, you know, and I was praying like anything, and I had so many 
so much determination, get God's mercy and trying to escape from the madness of materialistic civilization and all that stuff that all of us were doing in those days. But uh, when I got those books and just realized they were from the same person, same thing. Tort, tears came pouring out of my eyes and I just, you know, opened the books and started to read them and Prabhupada was speaking to me. Literally, it was like something extraordinary. And then <clears throat> in the ninth chapter, I was just checking through different places uh, and I came to that purport of the, from the second verse of the uh, ninth chapter where Prabhupada at the end says, so Christian consciousness is, is joyful, it's easy, so you, could, you should adopt it. And I just, that was it. I just shut the book. And I, there's no material explanation for that. No possibility. And then, you know, by coincidence, we went to San Francisco and he, he, he had arrived on the same day. And uh, so I was meditating during the, during the prayer on this descending potency that comes down through a personality that is uh, extraordinarily empowered. That, that did something that no one else but Krishna could do. And you can say, well, yes, but I could have done it. Like Prabhupada used that example of Columbus and, and what was it, the king or queen? Was it the king or the queen? Anyway, somebody was challenging Columbus. Oh, you just ran into America by mistake. Anybody could have done that. So the, and it was in the court of the, either the king or the queen and she did, he called over one of these, uh, you know, naysayers and said, so I want you to stand this egg up on end. So he, you know, tried to stand it on end. Of course, it kept falling over and he gave it to to uh, Columbus and he said, so make this egg stand. And then he just went <coughs> and then stood it up. And, and the, the, the naysayer said, well, anybody could have done that. And the, and the queen of the king turned to me and said, yes. But you didn't, and he did. <laughs> you know, so Prabhupada did something that, inarguably, there's no argument that he did something that no one else has done, no one else will do. It's like those, one of those things you can only do once. And anybody who's in the West uh, preaching or spreading Christian consciousness or being Christian consciousness, they must be uh, walking in his shadow. There's no other explanation. So that kind of uh, feeling coming from this song and from all these years of b being with him is uh, life and soul. Thank you, Marge, and et al. This, uh, when I was listening this time to the song and Bhakti Minu Thakur says, uh, by helping me control the six urges and purifying me of the six faults, when he's talking about how he's bestowing these mm. benefits mm. on the disciple, I was thinking about how Prabhupada is doing that and still doing it through his books, that for any progressive human being in any discipline, it's necessary to have a framework and a series of steps to follow in order to get to where you're going. Otherwise, it's uh, pretty much impossible. And because Prabhupada painstakingly laid out that system, considered every angle of four regulator principles, the chanting of 16 rounds, and then gave the, the Sambandha Gyan and the process by which one could progress step by step, uh, he fulfilled the meaning of this song that you're helping me to overcome these things because the acharya can only be here for a few years but the mm. system he leaves behind is described in a verse in the 11th canto of the 10th canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam Tvayam Bhujaksha Kila Sattvadamni Samadhina Beshi Tachaita Sayake in which uh, the demigods praying to Krishna within the womb say Kurvantiko Vatsapadam Vabhabdim that the acharyas uh, give the process, and the process is like a boat. And if one simply approaches the boat, then mm. the ocean of material life mm. shrinks to the size within the 
that can be contained within the hoofprint of a calf. So I was thinking how Prabhupada is delivering us, delivering me, and delivering you know, everyone in the world through the framework that he set up. He gave the boat. Mm. And the other thing, uh, ever since I heard Hanumat Preshak Swami's unique take on this ending to the song, he's so brilliant and he comes up with so many wonderful ways of looking at things. But Dai Tava Pache, Pache Pache, he says, you're running behind, I'm running behind you. And he said, so why are we saying we're running behind you? Uh, asking, please give me Krishna. And then he elucidated that because Prabhupada's running behind his spiritual master. And his spiritual master is running behind his spiritual master. <laughs> but practically everybody's running. It's the mood of those who are going back to Godhead. Once they recognize what the benefit is, then they begin to run for it. And of course, it's like the spiritual master is so far ahead that you can never catch up. And uh, you have to uh, be in that mood of running behind and begging, please give, please give. Other thoughts? It's just comforting to have that um, that guidance in our life, that that faith. Um, in one of the lines, it says that you have given me the drop of faith. And that is so much important as a progress because as we we born and we are we born in ignorance that verse is Oma Gyanati Mirandasya and then uh, we, we there are so many processes but definitely that drop of faith is by the spiritual master mercy we get and until unless and when we get that then only we get fixed to that path. So that that's the line I like. Drop of faith, yeah. Thank you. Krishna, can I ask to for the next page, please, on the third verse? So, what I what got to me was well, besides the whole song was the the third part. Uh, alone, I do not find the strength to chant the holy name of Hari, um, because that's the importance of having a teacher within the world for anything. Would you look at a secular education, um, and but the but then the spiritual education what's, or knowledge, what's very important is having a bona fide uh, structure of disciplic teachers. And, and they, no one has ever done anything alone. Everyone has learned from their teachers, and that's what's needed. Um, and that helps destroy somebody's pride of having that ego of, I can do anything, I can learn anything, I can just pick up a book. Um, I, as much as I read, I always come here and ask the senior devotees about if my understanding of what I'm reading is correct and I always ask questions about certain things that may be uh, may not make sense and that's the importance of that it helps uh, strengthen our faith because it helps clear our misunderstandings and our misconceptions and alone we can't do that so we need and we get that through that chain so we all get that knowledge from Prabhupada but we also get it from his students whose students were students and just like his mode was being a servant of the servant of the servant of the servant so i just feel like it's that again it's that that's the the that's the faith we can get sometimes we can't go to direct source but we can go to someone who also learned the same process we have and that helps i, f I feel like give somebody strength to chant something that is bona fide because it's been passed down and it's actually transcendental and not just something that's picked up or told or you know played on the radio so that's just what i have to say thank you thank you thank you Hare krishna um thank you for the explanation that Prabhupada actually made a system uh, the structure that he gave us and in this context i was recollecting how shila Prabhupada uh, so nicely actually he laid down the seven principles of ISKCON and he himself followed that actually just like 
creating temples or the knowledge books so that is so wonderful to see how he was so systematic and he was persistent in living a legacy behind a structure a system that can sustain and rescue the world for thousands of years we get take the mic back Hare Krishna. I like this bhajan very much, especially on today because of Srila Prabhupada's mercy and I feel like Dayara Sagar is just like floating into that ocean of mercy. And I feel that in this bhajan, you know, I've, especially today it feels like Krishna is yours and he gives it to us. So it's just like uh, so merciful, so kind. And he also, like you said, that gives us a process like you can just go after him and uh, you will get it what you want and i just feel like don't need to worry about anything else and actually when i'm thinking the worries disappears yeah so thank you you got a mic right there you're empowered you got to turn it on though Yeah, following on what uh, Anks Prija said, the process is there and that's absolutely necessary. But there's a blessing that, that empowers us to follow the process. And without that association, and without the association of the, as everyone was saying the same thing basically, of the, the ongoing uh, mercy that flows through those who are, have accepted the blessing and are following strictly then that that blessing flows down so that without the blessing therefore it says here and blessing me with a drop of faith bestow on me the great treasure of the holy name of Krishna so that's required <laughs> and Prabhupada gave it in you know spades Nachari <laughs> Armarman Nachari Armarman Nachari Armarman Nachari Armarman Hey Nachari Armarman Nachari Armarman Nachari Armarman Nachari Armarman